guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here at one of my favorite parking lot locations because we have this beautiful woodsy background scenery. And it kind of makes sense because guess what? This is a new SUV from GMC that brings that extra off-road woodsy capability. This is it. This is a new 2022 GMC Terrain AT4. But before we get into this compact, off-road capable SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The Terrain, it is one of those vehicles in GMC's lineup. GMC, General Motors Truck Company, has always been about pickup trucks. But you know what? They got smart. When SUVs became popular, they added them to their lineup. Now, the Terrain slots right underneath the Acadia. Obviously, the biggest SUV in GMC's lineup is going to be the mighty Yukon. Then you have Acadia, then you have Terrain. Now, with the Terrain for 2022, all of them get a major refresh to the exterior with the grille, nose, the whole nine yards. But there's now the addition to kind of make things complete an AT4 version. So if you know us here on Ready's Rise, we brought you the Sierra AT4, the Yukon AT4, the Acadia AT4. Now we have the little smaller SUV that brings that off-road capability. But has GMC done enough to truly make this off-road worthy? And if you look at the competition, specifically in the form of the Toyota RAV4 TRD, does the terrain bring more for your money when going up against that mighty compact off-road worthy SUV. Let's dive into our 2022 GMC Terrain AT4 and find out. Right off the bat, let's talk about changes. So all terrains are gonna feature new headlights right off the bat. So here with the Terrain AT4, you can see we have this triple LED beam setup. Really looking good. I like the way they kind of reshaped it and it falls perfectly in alignment with the new refreshed Sierra and the Yukon. You have your LED daytime running lamp, and then working your way down, there's a little bit of gloss black, but we do have fog lamps on the lower corners, a little bit of this nice dark aluminum finish, and then flat black. Now, as we come across the updated, upgraded grill, I'm really digging what GMC did with this. First of all, that dark aluminum finish looks really modern, but also very bold. You have your GMC badging with that traditional dark cherry red. Forward-facing camera for that off-road visibility. AT4 badge, GM, and GMC does some of the best badges. That AT4 badge looks really slick. And then, of course, working your way all the way down is going to be this flat black. Now, my major concern is, with this being an AT4, an off-road worthy SUV, there's not much more ground clearance. I would like to see a little bit more ground clearance underneath the front end of this SUV to really make sure you're not gonna hit anything as you're going off-roading. But definitely from a styling standpoint, I'm really digging the refresh to all the terrains and I'm liking the look of this AT4. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you have a U-shaped indentation that looks crisp. Then you're gonna have some nice rises that go towards the windshield. Very, very bold design. Looks muscular without being too over the top. And if we're comparing it to the RAV4, I actually like the style of the front end, especially the grill more than the RAV4 TRD. Now, when we come around the bend, we do get specific wheels and tires for our AT4. So this is a 17 inch wheel on terrains. You could get 18, 19 inch wheels for 2022. 17 inch wheel, a little bit smaller, gloss black split spoke design but the reason why they went 17 is because we have some goodyear wrangler off-road tires these are 225 on the width 65 series sidewall and you can see a little bit beefier sidewall especially with the ruggedness to kind of go on those off-road trails now is this some type of rock crawler no but neither is the rav4 trd this is something for if you have that special place where you like to put the kayak in the water and nobody else could get there because of it being a little rough, the terrain, see what I did there, the terrain being a little rough, this terrain can get you there and these tires are gonna take a better beating. You do have flat black, but that makes sense since this is a little bit more off-road worthy SUV, but I like the nice bold fender design that they have and I'm really digging the wheels. Now coming down the side, you are gonna get gloss black on your mirror caps, LED, uh, bits into the turn signals on those mirror caps. 
that very bold, prominent AT4 badge. And you can see from the side of the vehicle, you do have flat black, but ground clearance could be just a little bit more. I almost feel like this could have been a Blazer. Like if this was a Chevrolet product, this being the Blazer and kind of sitting up a little bit higher, that would have been a kind of, kind of a cool little niche there. But this is on the smaller side and we're trying to bring that, that off-road quality. You do get raised roof rails. That's gonna be nice to get your crossbars for your kayak, for your mountain bike, for your cargo basket. You'll see when we get to the interior, we got the skyscraper. That's what they call it. Skyscraper panoramic sunroof. Working our way towards the rear. Very unique style to the quarter window and you're not gonna confuse this with a RAV4. And you'll notice from the overall dimensions, even though this is a compact, it's a little bit on the larger side of compacts whereas the RAV4 is a little bit smaller. Now coming around the back, just like up front, we got all new taillights with LEDs, looking really slick, like the touches. You have a nice long low roof spoiler. We do have that wiper and it would have been nice to tuck that underneath there. So let's go ahead and zonk that, get that tucked underneath there, but did a really good job on the hatch. The GMC, that aluminum trim, we got Terrain, AT4, and then going all the way down. What's great is there's no exhaust or anything is hanging down. So it's nice and clean underneath, nothing dangling down. But while we go ahead, we're talking power plants. We're gonna compare it to the RAV4. Let's pop the hood in our Terrain AT4 and see what's powering. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have one of those pesky prop rods, but the RAV4 has one as well. Underneath the hood, the good news is there's not a lot of bunch of plastic covers. The bad news is we're missing some displacement. So instead of a two liter turbo, we have a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine putting out 170 horsepower, 203 pound-feet of torque. Now remember, if you go with the RAV4, you're gonna have a naturally aspirated inline four, but it's larger in displacement and gives you more power. This is mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission where the RAV4 TRD is, is uh, mated to a eight-speed, an eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60, not the quickest. 8.9 seconds, top speed 124 miles an hour. MPG is not too shabby, 25 in the city, 28 on the highway. The vehicle weighs 3,646 pounds and it could tow up to 1,500 pounds. So obviously comparing this to the RAV4 TRD, it is coming up a little bit short underneath the hood. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see how it stacks up room wise and technology wise to the right, guys, we're inside this 2022 GMC Terrain AT4. Talking about the Toyota RAV4 TRD, two off-road worthy SUVs in that compact class segment. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at those RAV4 TRDs. I didn't know GMC was going to add an AT4 to the Terrain. My sister has a Terrain. She loves hers. So I'm curious, how much is this one? So MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is right around $39,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the RAV4 TRD and what you get for the money to the door panels. You are getting some clean style, soft touch material up top. I don't mind that black silver design going on there. It is gloss, but the good news is it's gonna hide the fingerprints with that design that they have. Soft material on the armrest, when it comes to the AT4 trim, you're gonna get that gold bronze stitching, that nice contrast stitching. We have our off-road Twinkie tray right there in the, sweat, uh, in the center, so you could easily get to your emergency Twinkies. And then down below, you could easily fit a Yeti or a Bigfoot bottle down there very easily. We got the optional Bose sound system, nice clear tunes. And then going from the door panel to the dash, there's more of that AT4 trim stitching looking good soft touch a little bit of that material from the door panel to bring it all together some dark gray the good news is like i said no fingerprints we got another area for at least two twinkies you could even put a third one in there especially if you have a hungry bigfoot in the back seat of your terrain and then speaking of infotainment it's kind of like an even stevens kind of thing now you may look at this and say man they didn't update that infotainment system well, comparing this to the RAV4 TRD, this infotainment system blows that one out of the water. Both of them are eight inches in diameter, but the GMC infotainment system is much easier to use 
and super crisp on the graphics and the functions. You do have navigation. We now have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. When I go back to home, like I said, very nice and easy to swipe through all the different screens. We do have a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then let me show you something that's kind of cool. You go into settings, and then I'm gonna go into vehicle, it's already highlighted, collision detection systems. So this is where you could actually turn your detection systems on and off. For example, front pedestrian detection. You could have it alert and brake for you, or let's say you want full control, but you don't mind a little warning. Now you just have it on alert, and if you just wanna run over people, you just shut it off. Now I don't condone running off, pe running over people, but you can shut the system off. I'm gonna leave it on alert and brake because for safety reasons, we don't wanna run over anybody here on Rady's Rides. We were just joking. Now I'm gonna go back and you can see the rest of the assortment of adjustments you can make. And then going right back to home, let me show you the cameras because General Motors does some type of hocus pocus voodoo magic. And I'm not condoning voodoo magic here on Rady's Rides, but I just am, trying to joke around with the voodoo magic because look at this camera technology out the front spectacular i could count the leaves on that tree right there and if you're wondering how many are there it's actually 12,647 and a half because one was about to fall off another thing that's nice look at how we could change that's the hood not of a rav4 trd that's the hood of our terrain look at that i even made it nice and shiny got all the bird crap off of it wheels 17 inch look at them glisten in the sun, just like your wet skin when you're sweating as you're camping. We got our hook up for towing. You could take a look at where that tow, tow hitch is. And then, of course, I go right back to home. But the key is we got a forward facing camera, which that is ultra important on an off road model. Then we continue down. I got dual climate, nice rubber, non slip grip. Look at this. Uh, uh, uh. No slip. Same thing on the blower fan switch. Then we're going to have, this is, seems like a little bit of an afterthought. It looks like something out of a J.C. Whitney catalog. It's that push-pull transmission. Not my favorite, but it does clean up this area. You do have a Twinkie tray here. You could actually fill it up with gumballs, USB-C, USB-A, aux jack, and a 12-volt. If you're wondering where's my gumballs, I ate them all, and I had my garage door opener there. We do have a Twinkie holder on both sides. Three more Twinkies. Here, you want a Twinkie? Eat it. I'm going to put it right back here. And then you have your two cup holders, GMC key fob. Flip it around. You do have remote start. This is where we're going to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive to now we're going mountain mode. This is where you go and you just twist, and that'll allow you to go into the different modes while you're driving. See, there's all-wheel drive. Boom. We're ready to climb the mountains. We have heated seats. No ventilated seats is a little bit of a bummer. We got that sneaky Twinkie holder here kind of out of sight, out of mind, but when you're hungry, when you're hangry, you could get to it. Like the soft touch material, like the gold stitching. Open up, whoa! So Lori's trying to tell me something. We went to our favorite burger place and I had some onion rings. So I think she's trying to tell me I need a breath mint right about now. We do have some ding-dongs because we do have ding some ding-dongs that actually um, live in our neighborhood. And then we have uh, two USB A's in there and then all of these, I better, I better have one of these right now while we're, while we're on camera. I don't want it. I, don't, yeah, I know Lori's close to me right now. So let's continue. Seats, AT4 embroidery, looking good with the stitching. I like the piping. They did a great job with the style. Now on the passenger side, you do have electric assist for the bottom, but a manual back, which is kind of confusing. I guess they wanted to save a couple computer chips and get rid of that electric motor in the backseat for the passenger. I have full electric assist, so we're good to go. Mmm, minty fresh. And then of course we have our skyscraper, not just a panoramic sunroof, our skyscraper panoramic sunroof. Look how far that goes. It goes all the way back. And then we just bring it back forward. Nice, simple, it's real quiet. Suck it on my mint. Get, trying to get rid of my onion breath. Let me finish closing this, and then I'm ready to continue. But as you can see, I'm six feet tall. Plenty of headroom. Why don't you come over here, though? By the time you get over here, I'll be done with this mint, and I can show you what's behind the wheel of our GMC terrain 
AT4. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do get two memory seat settings. There's your controls. See, I didn't lie. It's all full electric for the driver's side. I got plenty of headroom here. You do have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which is great. The one zonk is our head-up display is that old-fashioned head-up display where the plastic panel flips up. That is a major zonk. Why would any auto manufacturer in the year 2022 have that? But it is nice to have it up display. I just don't like that little plastic thingy. Steering wheel, nice leather. We got gold stitching all the way around, 24 karat laced, dark gray finish. The Game Boy buttons, we do have a heated steering wheel. Not my favorite buttons, but you know what? I've seen worse, I promise you that. And then we have our instrumentation. It's a little bland. I was hoping for a little digital technology here that fills up the whole area, but you have an analog tack, speedometer, coolant and fuel gauge and then that digital display in the center has a cornucopia of information and it's all color so I guess that's nice but it would have been nicer for there to be a massive digital display but the great news is plenty of room in here we got Amazon Alexa but why don't we get into the back seat and see how it stacks up to the mighty rap right, guys back seat time and here's where things get interesting there is a lot of room back here in this back seat, more than in the RAV4. So something to think about. And we have our skyscraper panoramic sunroof. Skyscraper panoramic sunroof. Then we have the leather all the way around. You could easily put with these pockets, I would say you could easily get six corn dogs on a stick. Go to the fair, six across. Just make sure you get a nice big old cup of mustard to dip that bad boy in, or all six of your bad boys. I got rear AC vents, they're a little on the small side. Lots of room here, but small on the vents, two USB A's, and a home power source all the way down below, which is nice. I got my own pocket here, plus this has the ability, and this is why it's manual over here, to where I can do this, watch this. It's gonna take me just a couple seconds. Just wait, watch this. Oh yeah! Who says you cannot ride in style on a terrain? They put the plastic on the back of the seat so that your kids could do that, but your kids could also do this and just chill and be like, Pace, what up? Really nice sitting back here. Flip this down, look at this. Give me a freaking Twinkie and a Slurpee right about now and I would be in heaven. But you know what? There's more to heaven than meets the eye just in the back seat. Let's go ahead and check out the cargo area and see what the heck we're gonna put back there in this. All right guys, cargo time. Real simple, you're just gonna hit that button. Nice electric assist, rises up. You're gonna be greeted to a bunch of room, a ton of room in the back cargo area. Now you'll notice you have nooks on both sides, can easily fit a box there. What can you fit a box of? A box of donuts, a box of Twinkies, a box of Pop-Tarts. Easily on both sides, we got the Devil Dogs. Heck yeah, I'm gonna crack these open as soon as we're done filming. On this side, love the room. Can you get more room? Of course, what's nice is, is that they have handles right here and a 12 volt. So here's your 12 volt. Don't stick your Devil Dog in there, that's gonna hurt. But then you're gonna pull on these handles, ba-bam! Look at that, look at all that room. So with the seats up, you're looking at 30 cubic feet of space. With the seats down, you're looking at almost 70 cubic feet of space. Plus, if you want more, GMC's got you covered. Look at all the storage space underneath the cargo floor here. Nice to see that flexibility, but you know what? Let's go find out how this GMC Terrain AT4 drives. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little on throttle spin. All right, guys, we're in this 2022 GMC Terrain AT4. I actually have it in all-wheel drive, but more of a street setup all-wheel drive. Nobody's behind us. I want to showcase, or at least show you. I don't know about showcasing, but show you on throttle. Here we go. On throttle. So you're definitely waiting for the boost to build. Once you get up and running, it's not so bad, but like I said, it's a zero to 60 of over eight seconds. Now, I do understand that this is not a drag race SUV, but it would have been nice if they would have kept the two liter turbo in here 
rather than getting rid of that engine and only going 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Seats are super comfy. I wish there was a ventilated option, but there is not. Visibility is amazing in here, especially with the side mirrors. And of course, you got your navigation, your wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those are things that you're not gonna get in your RAV4. They got wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but not wireless in your RAV4 TRD. Going down the road though, those off-road tires really aren't making a bunch of extra road noise. There is some wind noise I'm picking up from the raised roof rails. Steering is very light, but very composed. And uh, to be honest with you, I wish there was a digital display. And the only reason why I say that, rather than the combination of the analog and the digital, is because when I look at those analog gauges, it feels like a rental car. And th there's so much more to this than it being a rental car or feeling like a rental car. But I think one of my favorite parts are definitely the seats. They're comfortable, they're supportive. And especially when the road gets a little rough, they're gonna help you know absorb all the vibration before it gets to your body. But getting down the highway is super smooth. And you got the nine speed automatic, which is great too. No CVTs on this GMC. All right, going into this left-hand bend, like I said, with the all-wheel drive, very composed. Odd throttle, here we go. Nine speed drops down. And I would say we're off and running, but we're more like off and, and skipping. But the suspension really soaks up the bumps nicely. You got that 65 series sidewall that's also giving you a little bit more comfortable ride. And as you can see, you just gotta be on your toes in Florida when you're driving because uh, I think people make the move before they look and then they make the move. But then they're surprised that you're there. So it's just one of those things. But great to drive in traffic, great to drive on the open road. I just want a little bit more power. And I think that that is something that uh, you'll get with the RAV4 TRD is a little bit more power. The one thing that's really interesting is that they don't really have drive modes per se. You have your mode selector for two wheel drive, all wheel drive, and then the real off-road all wheel drive option, but there's no other modes like a sport mode or anything like that. So when it comes to throttle sensitivity, everything stays pretty consistent, no matter if you're two wheel drive or all wheel drive. So one thing to be aware of, whether you like that, I know some people want a little bit more simplicity when it comes to their driving and not having to go through different modes and, any, and things like that. And like I said, I like the head-up display. I just don't like that plastic screen thing that flips up. It's It just makes it seem a little extra dated. All right, guys, so hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what this GMC Terrain AT4 is all about. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been a little bit of an adventure here on Rady's Rides today with this 2022 Terrain AT4. Definitely gotta thank everybody at GMC for allowing Ready's Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has GMC done enough, not only with the refresh, but also with adding AT4 to the terrain lineup? Is it worthy of that off-road capability? Does it have enough off-road capability? And is it better than the RAV4 TRD? Put your answer, your response, put how you feel in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raised Rides merch. Got to give it up to the off-roader of the year. No matter if it's on-road, off-road, Lori working that camera like a champ, no matter what the terrain is doing. Thank you, Lori, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.